we'll go further to start sampling um we sampled you know these are some of the measures we took um in sampling the first one we graded the areas in 100 by 100 meters fake scene um as actually defined by our structures so we make sure that we graded along that and the first instance 480 samples were actually collected within the target zones then to make sure that nothing was left undone we went around within some areas where we got some intersection out of the target zone to collect more samples about 40 samples named c samples were actually collected outside the major zones you know and also these samples you can see how they were actually packaged they were packaged in the sense that uh, we don't want to mix uh, represent the ids and all that and they were actually taken to lab they were oven dry pulverized and prepared for actual xrf testing it was carried out with our impulse vanta dc8900 on a very high sensitivity at this sensitivity of 0.0001 pm the energy of excitement at this 84 at this level there is every level of precision precision of any element um, uh, can be detected with uh, greater confidence so that is our grid here for the first sampling the entire thing was actually done in 100 by 100 and we got about 481 to 480 and some other C samples and some other control sample that were not actually represented here so at the first stage we were able to delineate um detect um about 30 there are about 33 or 32 but some of those elements some were actually removed based that they could not make some um, sense when we try to um, form a map or correlate them so these are the elements that were actually detected actually showing you um a kind of metallic region the silver cadmium the aluminium the copper the potassium the lead uh bismuth niobium silver um silicon wolframite even all actually all these elements we actually detected you know so we try to look at some selected element and graph them for us to see the the anomalies actually we detected some of the anomalies here based on on standard deviation what we did was to want the standard deviation plus the mean when we add them together and they are we look at what is above the standard mediation and um, standard deviation and the mean so that could actually form uh targets uh form an anomaly so you can look at here for example you can see definitely this is uh an anomaly in silver you can see more of the constrictions within this if you look at this um sulfur it's not uh clearly you can see the boundary of sulfur 60 to 140 you can see they are actually located within this region the same thing here too but this is actually clear then let's look at another one um look at this it's a bit smooth we can see you can see concentration within this zone we can see an anomaly here about three forms an anomaly in the bismuth we can see also you can see um that about these two is clearly away from this and you can see more of the concentrations uh within 100 this is the same thing and what from my the same thing then look at copper zinc lead and cadmium you can see also it this works very well with lead here you can see a concentration here at zero as well they were not actually detected you can see all are within this region so this is this is actually background kind of values the background values here also are here but this actually form the anomaly here the zinc also from the anomaly here and in terms of zinc you can see the background values from from within here these locations we are not actually detected this we are not actually detected here you can see copper kind of anomaly so this is the graph we actually try to um, I selected to show up here then this is some of the higher soil element anomalism we try to plot them and see where most of the elements are actually um, concentrated you can see within here where the elements you can see cotr 
arsenic, thorium, and all that concentrating here. You can see here and all that. So we are trying to we try to do this to be able to see the highest anomalism from soil element. But it is clearer here. If you look at this place, um, we selected the tin, the iron, the wolframite, the zinc, the copper, the silver, the arsenic, the bismuth, and the sulfur at this particular region. You can see um, the concentrations all are coinciding here, coinciding here, coinciding here, and coinciding here. It was based on these coincidences of elements that we were able to delineate the four zones. We we'll mark the four zones, and you can see we we'll actually remove some of these areas and focus so that the next step will focus on collect data based on these uh, four and zones. Sulfides definitely sulfur emanates from them. So you can see the sulfur here is high, the silicon is high. Then we'll look at the silver. Silver accompanies gold in most cases. The arsenic is as well as the same thing as silver antimony. So we actually try to um, uh, um, try to arrange them in uh, order of priority. And their maximum values, the minimum values, what we think are the background values and uh, the anomaly trench hold here. So we looked at that, looked at the arsenic, the antimony, look at the bismuth, we look at the mercury. Mercury was not actually detected in other ones, but here we saw a slight sign, will I say something that is in 10 um, ppm. So that's very, very, very minute. But in this, it could come up. But in the last one, it couldn't come up. Here we saw some molybdenum, the tungsten actually appeared here very small, um, about 400 ppm. All these values are in ppm. Then also the zinc, the cadmium, the titanium, the manganese, and all that. So we can see these elements we are actually um, arranged in order of priority in which we want to use as a trace element to delineate a particular area that could be the best position for gold mineralization. Then major trace element coincidence six, we are also graded. You can see this is actually where the gold where the gold elements appeared. These are the gold elements in PPM. This is silicon. You can see here actually um, here also also coincide with this. We we'll look at our sulfur here also. We can see this is actually telling you about north south kind of trending locally now. You can see this is a local trending. You know the local trending here north south. And also, you can see coincidence around here. Also, you can see the silver here, also uh, coinciding here also. So, in, we also look at arsenic. Arsenic here also coinciding with this particular region. We also look at antimony, the same thing. Bismuth, the same thing. And mercury, actually, clearly, also the same thing. So you can see from the local point of view, there is a kind of a north-south trending um, mineralization here. You know, so that is that it does it. And so we marked out this region and this region as the best targets.